Hey guys, I'm out rooting around, not really digging because the ground still froze, but kind of surface hunting and a little bit below the surface. Here's a bottle here. Huh. Some plastic cap on it. It's a really weird shape though. What that is. No markings on the bottom. ideas cool all right keep hunting around here wow look at this folks oh man too bad that's broke that would have been a beauty nice awesome green color would have been a nice big green jug I don't think I've ever seen one. Oh well. Catch you later. Check this jar out. That's a heartbreaker. I don't know if you can read it or not. The York peanut butter must have been. It's all broke, but it's embossed. And on the back side, oh, it's got a peanut. It's shaped like a dog, I think. Never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Hey, too bad it's broke. Oh well. Later. Hey folks, been digging around here a little bit. I might have something of interest right here. Oh, that old Buckley's bottle. Yes, sir. A screw top well that's pretty cool I'm gonna be keeping that one right on I'm gonna keep digging around here catches in a bit looks like the top to a blob top down in here see There's something in it look at that It's a nice find. Nice aqua blue color. First time I found one of those. Better would focus a little better on it. Cool. I'm gonna keep it. Put it with my collection. Well, unfortunately, this area looks like it's been gone through before. There's lots of shards here, all kinds of shards. I found a couple small bottles. That's a cheese burrow. It's not embossed. That one there's got a crack on it. There's lots of shards. There's the back to something. It's metal. The only thing I found that I'm going to keep so far is this little plastic lion. Look at that. That's a neat little find. Yep. Okay. Still exploring around. I just pulled this puppy out from down in those rocks down and under there. I had to stretch to get it. The bottom says uh, H.J. Hines. Patent it. And that's it. 442 H.J. Hines Company. I'm going to get it cleaned up because it almost looks like it's got a pinkish tint to it. Not 100% sure, but there's no embossed on the sides, but there's definitely, I wouldn't say it's a ketchup bottle. But anyways, that's that. I'm going to keep poking around here. Well, I'm not having much luck other than finding some bits and pieces. That's a nice uh, amber top there. This here green one would have been nice. It's embossed. It says bright on it. I don't know what else, but that would have been nice. A nice old top there. Nice old top there. There's that bottle there. 
Well, that's it for now, folks. I'll uh, catch up with you later. Well, I've located another one here. Looks like it's a full one. The only problem is the neck is frozen into the ground. Turning. For all this work, it better be a good one. Cork top, seam stops halfway up the neck. No embossing on it though, unfortunately. And I'm going to keep it just the same. Right on, catch you later. Hey guys, just going to do a quick clean up video of these three bottles here the Buckley's. Turns out it's from the 1930s. Nice amber embossed bottle. Usually they're just the ones that I've found are embossed on the edges. This one's right on the face so that's different. This one here it's got the seams going uh, halfway up the neck there and it's right up to the base of the uh, lip on that side so I don't know what that means mid to late 1800s for sure this one here that Heinz bottle see the number 442 on it I looked up online it's a PDF file you can download it if you want it's the Heinz uh, bottle codes and 442 corresponds with the bottle made between 1933 and 1936 and it held apple butter and peanut butter some sort of snap on lid it's not uh thread it it's a nice little jar So that's it for that, and uh, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Good luck and happy hunting.